Okay, in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this blueprint that allows you to dynamically tile objects. You can even change the scale and add a half piece on top. In this folder I have my main piece and my half piece. To start I'm going to create a blueprint actor and name it tiling mesh. In that I'm going to create a stack mesh and assign my main model to it. Now go into the construction script and create a for loop. Next create an integer variable and call the tiling amount. Now add that last index and get the index in times by 45. This is the height of our model. Now get the location of our static mesh. Get an add static mesh node and assign our mesh to it. Then to split the transform pin and the location pin. Assign our static mesh values x and y to it. Add the z value to the index multiplied by 45 and plug that in. Check manual attachment and then see if it works. Now for scale adjustment. Create a float variable called scale and set the default to 1. Multiply this by the height of our object and then multiply that by the index. Unfortunately that won't work quite yet. Go to the start of the construction script and set world scale 3d of our static mesh. Set the new scale to our scale variable. You might also want to set your start index to 1 so you don't get any overlap of your bottom mesh. Now to fix the weird scale problem you want to get world transform instead of world location. Now connect all the points up as we did before. It works. Now for the half piece where you get smaller segments. Create a boolean for this. Once the for loop is complete check if the boolean is true. Add our half piece as a static mesh. Get the transform just like before. Multiply scale by object height. Then add that as z location and hook them up. Here I was trying to see if I can find a building piece that is half a block higher. For some reason I couldn't find it, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. And the reason why it's not adding is we need to do one more thing. Multiply our scale and object height result with our index. And bam, I hope you have fun with this tool. Okay, so the quick tutorial is over now, but I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you watching. I know these crazy fast tutorials are hard to follow, but they're just a bit of fun entertainment. And maybe some of you learned something, but they aren't really aimed at beginners. I have some more slow beginner friendly tutorials on my channel and if there's a quick tutorial you want me to make a more in-depth beginner friendly video for please let me know in the comments below. I hope you're all staying safe during this current coronavirus pandemic going on. In the coming weeks I'll try and upload more and I'll possibly be sharing some of my more advanced Unreal Engine tools so keep an eye out for that and other programming and 3D art related tutorials. Thank you so much for watching please subscribe and I hope you enjoyed the video.